Friday morning, super excited, something cool just sold, but also a little bit stressed out because Adrian just left on vacation, he's gonna be gone for the next 10 days, so I'm gonna be working by myself here, um, not, well not quite by myself, but a lot of things will be on my mind. What are you doing there girl? Hey, what do you got in your, what do you got in your, uh, what do you, is that a mouse? Is that a mice? Is that a mice? What is that? What is that? That's your new toy? Yeah? Got it? Yeah? <laughs> Look what just sold, guys. Didn't we just talk about this yesterday? Isn't that a great feeling? Let me open this up. Yeah. Yeah, the Pallard. Pallard, 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 Bolex. Just sold. $400, $25 shipping going to New York but it's uh it's funny it's going to New York to the company that uh, that I think fixes or does something with the cameras because the name of the company is do all camera corp so that's super interesting um, obviously somebody thought that this was unique enough to pick it up nice sale yep super nice flip $400 excited i like starting my day with the sales like this so all right let me get on this i already started packing got some things going but time is uh time is creeping on me so i gotta get moving keep it for yourself <laughs> right. yeah, how you doing you good how are you sir right. good what can we do for you i got a bunch of tools in the back of my truck Look okay so yeah you have sure. a cart or anything i can uh of... let me come out there and look at it first what you got okay so my fingers and Vicky's fingers are almost bleeding now <laughs> because we went through almost 1,000 DVDs. No, not 1,000, 500, about 500 DVDs here that we had to go through and make sure they're all, in, uh, all inside. And then we bought quite a few seasons as well of different stuff. Now we got to kind of take some old okay, stuff start. off and mix it up because a lot of these are very good titles that they will move relatively quickly. We got a lot of stale inventory there when it comes to DVDs. So it's always good to mix it up a little bit. And then I was able to pick up uh, some of uh, bands like Genesis, ZZ Top, Couple Queen DVDs here, Culture Club. So I'll go through these to see if they are worth anything online. So what do you got there for me? I don't know. You guys got a new cat, huh? Yeah. What's its name? Her name is Honey. Honey? And Honey is spying right now on Ruby. Well, she's gonna learn real quick about <laughs> Ruby, huh? They actually get along. They they already feel each other out. Yep. I bet you he missed Milo, huh? <laughs> I'm not gonna fly it. <laughs> Try it, man. No. <laughs> you break it, you buy it, though. Yeah, I break anything else around here, too. Try it, man. I wanna have it on film. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing, honestly. Like. Survival bracelet. Yeah, I don't go, even know how to fly. You gotta go up with both triggers and then back down to like start it out. Really triggers do it? Up? You do it, Pete. I don't, yeah. I don't know. What is it? Wrist band? <laughs> I would have thought the joysticks, but there's triggers yeah. on it. I think the triggers are for filming and taking pictures, but. Alright. Like finger triggers? Right. Here? So to like sink it, I know you have to go up with both triggers and then down and then roll it. Have you got a card and I know how to I can get back oh, here? The lights just changed. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't want to. How did you get it going though? Uh, I'm going to hold it down again. There you go, my friend. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So this morning has been so busy and I actually almost forgot to pack this for Jason. Jason spotted these bluegills yesterday. Yesterday on a video, Jason bought for me before. He's from Minnesota. So I'm gonna go and pack these now, find a nice box, put it in some uh, peanuts and ship it out to him. Thanks, uh, thanks for the purchase, Jason, appreciate it. You're gonna like them. They're really nice and sharp, very nice colors. 
So since we bought so many DVDs, some of them we were able to put out on the floor, but a lot of them came here and here. And then I got so many DVDs back there. This room is designed here with this overhead door for pickups. This is the stuff that we have on layaway most of the time with, you know, with people stickers on them, they're ready for pickup. And this is becoming so crowded with all these DVDs. I got to figure out, clean this up, get those out of here, find a new home for them because it's, it's getting ridiculous over here. All right, looking better. All the DVDs are out. This is the last batch that I'm getting out of here. Do this. Oops. I don't know if I'm gonna fit in here. That might be a problem. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Perfect squeeze. Perfect squeeze. Oh. Uh, uh, stuck. Look at that. Oh, gosh. All right, made it. Not a perfect squeeze. Pretty dark in here, so I don't know if you can see anything. I'll try to fix this in post. All right. so there's at least a thousand DVDs in these container if not more so I'm glad I moved that out of the way all right mission accomplished looks good huh everything organized got room to walk can open actually the door so I like it I like it all right let's go up front see what's going on there Nick did you sell anything when I was gone for an hour uh, no. God. I'm sorry. I tried. <laughs> I, I tried. <laughs> you didn't try hard enough. I tried really hard. Okay. I bought a welder. I bought a welder. Oh. You called me over. I introduced you to him. Oh, okay. <laughs> I tested it. I gave him the money. Teamwork. <laughs> Teamwork. Okay. What are you doing? Oh my God. What, a what great are you pose. doing in a cage? Huh? Great freaking you are you're not supposed to be under. I, Ruby is not even inside, and you're on top of the cage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You're so cute. Oh. <laughs> Thank you again. Do you know if this remote PlayStation is new? I, I see it's in a box, but it's not sealed. So you know anything no, about it's, it? It's new. It's, it's just, new. Just yeah. Okay. It's just been opened, but never used. Right. Okay, yeah. got you. Actually, I think you're wrong. It's been used and it's been used quite a bit. Is it? Yeah, you can see all oh, the no, dirt okay. and the joystick. All right, no, so see. maybe he replaced something. Yeah, you know? no, you can tell. Yeah, yeah, it's been used. All right. I'll still buy it. It's just you know, different price, obviously. What are you looking to get out of this uh, stapler? What you want to give me? Like thirty-five bucks. What do you give me for that then? This is like ten dollars. What about this? Uh, just like five bucks. Okay, so you're talking. So uh, 30, 35, 35, 10, that's 40, 50 bucks total. Take it. Sure. Works? Yeah. All right, awesome. Appreciate right. it. I buy a lot of stuff for these guys, so. I need your ID though, so I can write you up. You have a just quick question or? Yeah, I was just gonna, I just had a question about something I was uh, trying to sell. I was wanting to see if you're interested in like music memorabilia. Is this anything with certificates or is it, what is it um, like? I have, um, let me see, uh, the majority of the full collection of all the Bruce Springsteen uh, magazine. Okay. Where he used to have his own uh, magazine back in the day called Backstreet's Magazine from like the 70s, 80s. Mm -hmm. um, I, have the, I have the majority of that collection in little uh, plastic pouches. I also have two of his uh, numbered 
uh, Bruce Springsteen Broadway posters from this past year. Um, I have, s let me see, I have six or seven of the uh, Bruce Springsteen 2016 R R uh, River Tour posters. Okay. From the events I went to. Um, and then I have like a couple framed albums and stuff like that. It's kind of like a little miniature collection. Gotcha. But none of this stuff is actually signed by him or anything like that, um, right? I or have. I met Bruce Springsteen at Books a Million in Chicago and I have his signed uh, first ever autobiography. But that's something that you're probably keeping it. Uh, I would be willing to sell it, but my only problem is, is that I didn't take it somewhere to get Okay, so it's not certified. Right? Yeah. Okay. But I met him. I didn't take a picture with him or anything, but yeah. it's his actual signature. That's why I was going to hold off on bringing that one up. Um, I know that I, I, I know how much, like, I, during the whole process of, of collecting these things, Yeah. I've spent well over, like... Fifteen hundred dollars. Yep. But you like know how just, that works, you know. Also, I was looking to see, you know, like if I can sell like my whole collection for like a few hundred bucks, you know, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Because if you were to sell them individually, you'd make triple, quadruple okay. the price. Yeah. Well, let me finish really quickly with him. I will look up some of the stuff really quickly and let you know if I would be interested. Absolutely. In that, yeah. So. Oh, you have a play button. Yeah, we do. Yeah. You guys are on YouTube. Yeah, you on it right now. <laughs> I will decide later if I want to put this on, but you're on it right now. That's cool. That's a little, <laughs> little, little problem there. Yeah, if interesting stuff comes in or, or, you know, just like you have a story that you collect, you know, stuff like that usually makes the cut because people want to see or hear stuff like that, you know, so. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I got the play button about half a year ago. That's pretty cool. Get your license back. Honey could be a star. Actually, Milo was a star. I know now, Milo. Honey is going to be the star. I know Milo was a star. <laughs> Milo is our kitty. You see the picture right underneath the plaque? Oh, yeah. He passed away a few months back. Oh, that's and horrible. I have a cat that I'm deeply in love with, too. Oh, man, man. this cat was, like, awesome. Everybody who came in here, he would just he'd lay out right here. What do you got? What's going on? Follow you around. Well, he used to follow me around the store because I petted him all the time. Probably that bird, so calm. I've never seen one of those in person. Greenwing, Greenwing yeah, yeah. seen. She's 43 years old. Oh my God. Yeah, she's up there. Yeah, my sister's is like 60. And they're mean. <laughs> they're mean. They can be. They're mean, yeah, man. Yeah, they're they mean. You had a graph at the bottom. <clears throat> nice from a distance, though. How many languages does she speak? <laughs> Polish and English. And so she does speak too, because they're like that. You know, right? she used to she meows like Milo. Okay. So uh, oh, they're they're big mimickers. She would she would mimic him a lot. So. My sister's knows Spanish, she knows a little bit of Italian, she can speak English English fluently, of course. But <laughs> she's not a big talker. She knows few no, words, but she's not a big talker. That's it. Milo was the prize. What you doing? What you doing? Huh? What you doing? All right, so this next item that I sold, it's going to require for me to take to take this letter with me. At least I know we charge like 80 bucks for shipping. So Yeah, 80 bucks for shipping going to New York so it shouldn't be that bad but guess what look look see that guy up there whose bright idea was to sell this little horse it's not light but it's not super heavy <laughs> look at this thing old vintage Toy and we were asking 250 here in the shop, sold on eBay for 230 with 80 dollars shipping. So um, it's it's by the company called Mobo. Now I gotta find uh, find a box to fit this thing and ship it out to New York. I got a feeling somebody's getting this for Christmas. I gotta find a big box for it. I got a couple big boxes way in the back. What do you guys what do you guys think? I'm gonna make money or lose money on shipping on this one. Going to New York from Chicago. 80 bucks should be efficient. 
I think I can fit. No, that's not wide enough. Let me show you guys how this thing works when the kid would play it on it back in the day. So it's all about putting pressure. The kid would sit on it, put his feet and press. And this would, this basically just got wheels on the bottom and rolls forward. This thing is probably about, I want to say 15, maybe 20 pounds. All made of some kind of galvanized steel. Although it does show some rust on it, but yeah. So you would just kind of press on it. So all right, let me wrap this baby up. All right guys, change of plans. The other box was way too small. I have to find a different one, but this is so far the progress. Good thing I got a ton of free styrofoam from TJ Maxx and Kirkland, but it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. I think I'm gonna dump now half of this bag on top of it so we can get into all the crannies. Looking good. Look at this monster. This side up, fragile. It's a monster. I got my handy dandy. Are you helping? Are you helping? I got my handy dandy. Big scale, big boy. Let's throw this on and see what this actually weights. Let's see. Looks big, it's not super heavy. Better not be. 36 pounds. See, such a big box. Full of peanuts and a horsey. 36 pounds, so let's see what it's gonna cost us with all these dimensions. Houston, we have a problem. So, according to my dimensions, which is 36 inches long, 30 inches tall, and 26 inches wide, USPS won't even allow me to ship this crazy maybe not crazy uh, because they only have one person in a truck when they deliver right so FedEx will allow me I mean it's not heavy it's 36 pounds FedEx will allow me to do this but this box then requires to have two people price jumps like crazy because of these dimensions to ship this to New York would cost me 226 dollars from here from Chicago that's more than the product no that's about exactly the same as the product and I had 80 bucks shipping so what I have to do and I didn't think about this before um, I have to since the horse is actually not that big I gave a lot of cushion here the horse is only 12 inches wide and if I can turn this box instead of 26 to 16 inches or even 17 inches and keep the rest of dimensions the same, the price drops tremendously. 35 by 30 by 16 will bring the price down to $53. Isn't that crazy? That's just because the gird going all the way around is not as big and then one person can handle this. And the price goes from $226 to $53. Just insane. So I guess tomorrow morning I'm going either shopping for boxes or even better, dumpster diving. Although it might be a little hard to find exactly a box like that dumpster diving, but I'm going to give it a try in the morning. So the buyer paid $80 shipping, $53 it's going to cost me. If I got to buy a box, not a big deal because I got $27 to spend. So, yep, it didn't work out so far, but we'll get it tomorrow morning. Guys, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, right now, it's already way past 7 p.m. The shop is closed because I was playing with this thing. I still got to go do some paperwork up front. Uh, but thank you, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers.